The Magnus Effect is named after Gustav Magnus, the German physicist who investigated it in 1852. It describes the force generated by a fluid flow over a rotating body at right angles to both the direction of flow and the axis of rotation. This force on a rotating cylinder is known as Kura Yukowski lift after Martin Wilhelm Kura and Nikolai Yukowski who first analyzed the effect. You see the Magnus effect at work in the curved flight path of balls that are thrown, hit or kick and at the same time are given a spin. Golfers, baseball pitchers and soccer, tennis and table tennis players all employ this effect to curve the flight path of the ball. But how does the Magnus effect work? The Magnus effect operates in the following manner. As a spinning cylinder moves through the air, it spins a boundary layer of air that clings to its surface as it travels along. On one side of the cylinder, the boundary layer of air collides with the air passing by. The collision causes the air to accelerate, creating a high pressure area. On the opposing side, the boundary layer is moving in the same direction as the air passing by, so there is no collision and the air collectively moves faster. This sets up a low pressure area. The pressure differential, high on one side and low on the other, creates all this force that causes the cylinder to move in the direction of the pressure differential, ergo from high to low. The Magnus effect can be applied in any direction, and in this way an athlete can create backspin, topspin, and sidespin. Soccer players are well known for the way they use banana kicks to cure free kicks and corner kicks around defenders and into the goal mount. Tennis players and volleyball players use the Magnus effect when they apply topspin to make the ball drop suddenly while in flight. Elite golfers apply Magnus Effect forces to produce draws and fades, and the weakened hearted and willingly applies spin and uses the Magnus Effect to slide the ball off to the left and right. As we already said, this effect is very important in sport like tennis, soccer, and golf, but could it have non sport applications? Perhaps. This is a sailboat. I know, it doesn't look like a sailboat. Those are no chimneys, they are spinning cylinders called flatten rotor. A flatten rotor is a smooth cylinder with discs and plates, which is spun along its long axis and as it passes at right angles across it, the Magnus effect causes an aerodynamic forces to be generated in the third dimension. Getting back, in a rotor ship, the rotor deflects crosswind using the Magnus effect propel the ship forward. On the other hand, in a rover airplane, the rover extends sideways in place of a queen, and our lift is generated. This is a plane with spinning cylinders instead of wing. Using the Magnus effect, the cylinder actually generates more lift than the traditional wings. However, they also generate way more drag, making them impractical. This plane only flew once and then it crashed.